Let's go. We see the hype outside. Right hey guys, Golden here, and welcome back to another Fortnite mobile update video today. In this video, we're going to be talking about Apple's response to Fortnite. It is actually not looking good for Fortnite mobile. Super worrying stuff, and I'll explain all that in today's video. And I mean, obviously, I'm sure you guys want some updates on the whole end of Fortnite mobile situation. I, of course, will be talking about that in today's video. And also, a Fortnite mobile player won FNCS. And today, I will be going over all that information. So make sure you guys watch until the very to make sure you guys get all the news but either way you guys know i don't want to waste your guys' time so sit back relax and enjoy the mobile news heading on to the first topic let's talk about easily the biggest situation that has ever happened in the fortnite community and that is apple and google versus epic and by the way guys i've actually made like three videos already on this entire situation so if you guys want to keep up to date and like stay up to date with all that information make sure you guys go watch the first three parts to this kind of like i guess mini series but since the last video we have gotten a lot and a lot of new information to share with you guys now recently the community has been just absolutely crazy and i mean guys we're literally talking about the end of fortnite mobile here like obviously people are gonna overreact and whatnot but the main question i've really been getting recently asked is is epic going to win the lawsuit and honestly it's not really an easy answer because we are talking about the biggest companies in the world however i just want to make it clear guys samsung which is like often associated with google because you know the google play store but they are not at all to blame for these issues in fact they are actually supporting fortnite against Google and they actually just recently tweeted out saying you know what's epic you can still download app Fortnite game mobile here samsung.us slash galaxy store and they put the little hashtag free Fortnite. so oh my god i have never loved samsung so much but i mean just saying oneplus will always be on top but yeah that's just really cool to see so i want to share that with you guys and obviously there are a lot and a lot of other big companies like supporting Fortnite, but they are just simply too scared to do anything because if they break the rules they don't want their app to get removed and lose like a lot of money now we haven't really heard anything from apple in particular and before yesterday we literally didn't hear anything from apple but suddenly yesterday epic Epic tweeted out on their newsroom account saying Apple removed Fortnite from the App Store and has informed Epic that on Friday, August 28th, Apple will terminate all our developer accounts and cut Epic off from iOS and Mac development tools. We are asking the court to stop this retaliation. Now, a lot of people were confused by this, including myself, but I actually found out what this means. And it basically means Epic is not going to be able to work on any updates for Fortnite Mobile or release any updates for the game starting August 28th. But not only for mobile, now it also looks like Mac's going to be getting involved. Like, I don't even know what they did wrong. Like, they were just kind of chilling and now Mac might not even be able to get updates. Like, I don't really know. This is just crazy stuff basically in terms of actual fortnite mobile this of course basically just means they're not going to be able to update their game which we kind of already knew this sort of from like the blog post that said hashtag free fortnite and it said if you already downloaded fortnite via the app store you should have no issues continuing to play chapter 2 season 3's 13.40 update whether you're playing on a mobile device or also playing on the latest version of fortnite on other devices once chapter 2 season 4 begins players accessing fortnite will still be able to play the 13.40 version of fortnite but will not be able to access any new content or the new battle pass cosmetic purchases will still work across all platforms so i mean to be fair we kind of already knew this but apple's just kind of confirming it with them just trying to make them like you know understand that they are not going to be able to update their game and they're literally going to remove their profiles just to ensure there is zero way they're going to be able to update their game but really it's just the fact that apple is actually confirming they are going to continue to fight epic and are not going to just listen to them which is very very worrying for us mobile players and also epic made it clear they are also not going to be giving up as they said in a tweet they were asking for the court to stop this retaliation so they're not giving up neither is apple so very very worrying stuff for us mobile players and honestly what this really means to me in my brain is i'm thinking this is probably going to take up to three months and maybe even up to years before fortnite mobile can possibly get added back to the app store i know it's crazy but i mean it looks like they're going to be fighting for potentially months and months on end which is gonna just suck now if the court is able to still stop the retaliation then that would let epic still work on updates for mobile and mac but they still couldn't release updates for mobile since it's still not on the app store so guys it really does suck i don't know how long it's gonna take i'm gonna guess around like maybe two months maybe three months but hopefully that's like kind of like the hopefully i mean who knows boys again think about like the phase versus tfue thing that is still going on to this day that has literally been going on for like over a year 
and this could be just as big as we are talking about two of the biggest companies in the entire world battling it out like it's just absolutely crazy however that was actually not apple's only response to epic they actually made another response where they were basically saying they would not be making an exception for epic games in the form of obviously allowing them to obviously implement their new like v buck system this article actually came up from the verge where they basically had an interview with apple and apple explained their reasoning to of course not letting fortnite implement this new feature so here's what it said in the article apple has responded to epic's games latest salvo in the ongoing dispute between the two companies epic has said that apple is threatening to revoke its access to ios and mac developer tools by removing it bad we basically already explained this so i'm not going to reread all that but then it says we very much want to keep the company as part of the apple developer program and their apps on the store apple says in a statement to the verge the problem epic has created for itself is one that can easily be remedied i can't really say that word sorry if i said that wrong if they submit an update of their app that reverts it to comply with the guidelines they agreed to and which apply to all developers so here's a full statement here it basically says the app store is designed to be a safe and trusted place for users and a great business opportunity for all developers epic has been one of the most successful developers on the app store growing into a multi-billion dollar business that reaches millions of ios customers around the world we very much want to keep the company as a part of the apple developer program and their apps on the store the problem epic has created for itself is one that can be easily remedied if they submit an update of their app that reverses it to comply with the guidelines they agreed to in which apply to all developers we won't make an exception for epic because we don't think it's right to put their business interests ahead of the guidelines that protect our customers so there it is guys it is clear that apple is more than willing to bring fortnite back to the app store but epic has to revert the v bucks update which is clear i mean we kind of already expected this obviously it's kind of 100 percent clear but it's good to hear that apple is more than willing to bring fortnite back to the app store i mean obviously it's one of their most successful apps they want to bring it back to the app store but epic is continuing and continuing to be persistent and continue to try to fight apple now again like i said i don't think epic's going to give up just yet but it is clear again apple at least is willing to bring it back to the app store which is nice to hear like i was thinking that maybe they'd be mad that they tried to them and maybe not want to bring it back to the app store but now it is clear apple is more than willing to bring it back to the app store as long as epic can listen to their policies obviously epic doesn't want to do that to be honest i think it's fair it's nice to see that apple is being somewhat professional instead of like not responding at all they are being somewhat professional and they're just making it clear that like, we're not going to make an exception for just fortnite when there's millions and millions of apps that obviously aren't going to be able to make this exception so it's like they're not going to be able to do that they're just letting epic know that we would be more than happy Happy to bring it back if they just listen to their policies are they gonna listen to that i highly doubt it but i mean hey you never know but i mean hey that's pretty much all the new information we got from the last video not really too much i mean just a little bit just wanted to kind of update you guys a lot of you guys were letting me know to like report on this but yeah pretty much it i think that's pretty much all we got to talk about of course you guys already know i will keep you guys updated on anything future and any future information we get in the near future but instead of just talking about all negative stuff this video i want to bring some positivity into it so heading on to the next topic let's talk about the mobile player who won fncs now these are likely unfortunately our last few days with some sort of fortnite mobile competitive scene because once the new season comes out we likely are not going to be getting any new updates and that means not even any tournaments like i don't even know what's going to happen but at least we did end off with a bang because bnb twins actually won any east mobile and console fncs so all you controller players on mobile and console players i hope you stay mad but anyways i'm gonna roll some highlights from bnb twins shouts out to poggers on youtube and of course bnb twins for putting together this awesome highlight video i'm gonna be cutting some parts of it out so if you guys want to watch the entire video i will of course leave it linked down below Don't play, don't play. Another fish. 
so much mana. So he's 700. 40 seconds is a 1v1v1. One one. He's using Hila. Constant pressure down. Nice, constant pressure down. See Break the streak. Still playing well. Cracked him. What? Oh my god, that was actually insane. Huge congrats to BNB Twins for winning FNCS, and thank you for showing that the mobile community is not that bad. But anyways, guys, unfortunately, that's all the news we have to talk about in today's video. We still got a few more awesome topics to talk about in the next video, but guys, I'm just saying... I am running out of news extremely fast, and I would say I might maybe have like about two more news videos of news I can release before I completely run out of news, because Epic is not giving any attention to Fortnite Mobile right now, the Reddit page is completely dead, they don't even reply to posts there anymore, like it's not really looking very promising. I'm extremely worried for the future of this channel, but just know guys, whatever I decide to do, I can almost guarantee you guys will love, and I appreciate those of you who are going to continue to support me. So just know I love each and every single one of you guys. And if you're not yet a part of the family, make sure you guys go down below and drop a sub. But if you want to turn notifications on, you can. Don't feel like you have to. But if you want to, you can. But either way, guys, I have a super exciting video planned next. Where I'm going to be doing like a Q&A for this whole Apple versus Epic situation. So if you guys want to comment anything like regarding Fortnite Mobile and the future of it, make sure you guys comment some questions down below. And who knows, I might put in a video. But either way, guys, this has been Golden. Do with this information as you will. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.